Hi everyone, my name is Lloyd and I'm the founder and CEO of Armbrust American, where we are working to bring back strategic manufacturing to the United States. Because of that mission, it's very important to me that we source our materials from the United States whenever possible, but I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes that is impossible. For instance, take our melt blend material. Now a surgical mask is made up of five parts. There's the elastic ear loops, there's the nose wire, uh, there's the uh, three layers of non-woven fabric, which is just a fancy way of saying fabric made from plastic. Now, the top layer, typically blue in color, is called spun bond polypropylene. This is made to protect you from external water droplets, so if someone were to sneeze at you in the face, uh, you'd be protected. The bottom layer, typically white, which is the same as the, as the top, is made to protect actually everyone else from you. And it's supposed to be soft and comfortable as it is put against your face. Now the middle layer is the melt blown material I was talking about. It's actually where all the magic happens. Now most melt blown is made in China. In fact, China makes over 90% of the world's melt blown. And there are only two companies that make it right here in the United States. Well, we mean to change that. And in the next week, our first melt blown machine arrives. That means sometime in June, we will be producing 100% USA made pure virgin melt blown right here in Austin, Texas. And over the coming months, we'll be expanding this facility here to produce every element of the mask. That means there, that we will be able to take raw polypropylene made in Houston, Texas, and turn that into American-made surgical and N95 masks all in one building. Okay, but what about today? Where are your materials from today, Lloyd? Fair question. I'd like to say that everything in our mask is made from the United States, but we're not quite there. We were lucky to be able to source our non-woven fabric from Detroit, including the melt blown material that has a BFE or bacterial filtration of 98%. That means our medical face masks will block virus particles down to 0.3 microns, which is the same as viruses like the coronavirus. But not all things in our mask are from the US. Our nose wire and our ear loop material is actually from Mexico, and some of the plastic we use to seal our masks is actually from China. Look. We're working hard to get everything from the U.S., so if you are a U.S.-based manufacturer, you can work with us, please do reach out. I hope this was helpful in explaining a bit about our product and how we think about building things in America for Americans. Thanks very much for watching.